hello guys everyone here we are learning what are the components in wicket what are the form components in wicket and we will go stepwise because uh, first because stepwise is the best process to learn what are the components in wicket first step we will learn what is a label because it's, label is a easy component after that we will learn the text text field text area and then we are learning stepwise all the things so here first open the eclipse and then eclipse create one project as a maven project i already created the project as a demo here and in the demo project you are seeing that there are the three pages are there first is a home page dot java second is a home page dot html and third is a wicked application dot java here we are creating one project one class as a label demo on java because we are creating one label after that we are creating one html file for that same remember that html file is a file is the same name as your java file because in wicket the html and java is integrating with each other so we have to write same name as for both html and java also so here we are creating one label so first write one and class in that write wicket id is a label suppose you write the name the that from here and create one vector as a public label demo after that in that constructor see that label create one label label name label after that create one object for label here write your wicket id as a name you write in the html file after that because first we have to extend the class by using the web page because web page is a parent class after, after extending web page you can access the properties of the web page so you can we i'm telling you the reason for this because for running this page we have to write we have to write that class name in the wicket application here our class name is a label demo so we have to write home label demo instead of home page what class so this is this class is this is a wicket application class and this class is extended by extended by web application so you have to write a uh, class which extend the web page so it can directly run so here we are running the project after running the project we see that wait for some time after running the project oh we have to forget to add this component into the what constructor so we are adding name into the constructor to then run your project once again you will get the output but you will here you will you will see no value for label because we are not giving the value for label suppose here we are giving 
alone word okay then in that after running your project you will see that you will see you will get the output as hello world okay so in next topic next chapter we will learn how to use model into the label thank you